Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a pregnancy yoga class that is great for the morning time. We're gonna start off gentle, work out the pregnancy aches and pains, and then do some energizing poses. You don't need any equipment for this class except for a mat or comfortable floor to get down on. And I will keep making pregnancy yoga workouts and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start in a comfortable seated position. You can be right on the ground, or if you're more comfortable, you could be on a block or a pillow or even on your birth ball. So let's take our knees wide, take our hands to our knees, and we're gonna circle our chest around, waking up the muscles in our torso. Moving however feels good. You can pull back away from your hands. Switch the other direction. Beautiful. Let's take one hand up and over, reaching, creating space in your ribs, making room for baby. Taking a deep breath into your side ribs. Good. Let's do a big circle with our arm. You can bring your shoulder into the movement. Beautiful, let's switch to the other side, reaching up first, then over, deep breath into your ribs. Shoulders relax down your back and circle your arm. Last one here. Good. Let's clasp our hands behind. We'll do a little chest opener. Keep your ribs and your baby pulled in to protect your core. Just stretching out through your chest. You can look up gently. Beautiful. We can clasp our hands the other way now, rounding out through our upper back pushing your hands away from you. Releasing your hands. Let's take our fingertips with one hand and gently stretch through your fingers and your wrist. Switching to the other side. We can circle out our wrists now. From here, let's come it to all fours. If this is hard on your wrist, you can either place a towel under them or come it down right onto your elbows. Let's move in to cat and cow. On exhale, we're gonna first engage your core, pull your baby in and then we can press into our hands and knees, rounding out through your back. Inhale. We're going to look up. Moving with your breath. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, look up. Last one. Coming back to a neutral spine, we're gonna do two types of hip circles. So the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna imagine we've got a pencil coming right out of our tailbone, and we're going to draw circles on the wall behind us. Switching directions. Coming back to a neutral spine. This time, imagine the pencil coming right down from your belly button, and you're gonna draw big circles this way. So the circle's on the ground this time. Good. 
You can have your knees wider apart if you want to make room for your belly. Let's go the other way. Good. Coming back to your neutral spine. Let's come down on one elbow. We can take the other arm out to the side. Drop your shoulder down, just gently stretching through the front of your shoulder. Take a deep breath into your back, side ribs. Let's come on up. We can switch to the other side. Other hand goes out, dropping your shoulder down, feeling a nice stretch, spreading your fingers on the hand that is out to the side. Beautiful release. We can shift our weight back now, coming up on our knees. Let's move in to a lunge. It's great for getting baby in a good position for labor. So we can take one foot, place it ahead, shift our hips. Once we're here, we can tuck our pelvis under and feel a nice stretch through your psoas. Let's take a breath here. Feel free to stay here. If it feels good, you can go farther down. You can also have the option of turning your front leg out and you can either lean over a ball here or come down on your hands or even down on your elbows, depending what feels good for you. Let's find length in our neck wherever we are. Taking some deep breaths. Relaxing into your hip a little bit more. If it feels good, you can rock back and forth. If your front foot is turned out, we can turn it back in again, pressing into your foot. Exhale. Let's come back up. Shift our weight back. Flex your front foot. And then you can gently tilt from your pelvis wake up your hamstrings and the muscles in the back of your front leg coming out of the pose we can switch to the other side moving into your lunge Feel free to stay here or turn your front leg out. You can come bringing your hands to the inside edge of your front foot. Wherever you are, finding your breath. When you're ready, easing out of the pose. Flexing your front foot, stretching on the other side. Beautiful. Releasing out, let's bring that leg back in. Let's take a gentle back bend here. So we can place our hands just above our glute and we're gonna keep our core engaged, ribs and baby pulled in, and then just gently open up your chest. As far as feels good and safe for you. And then exhale, re-engage your core, come on up. Let's have a sip of water and then we'll come to a standing position.
Let's come up to a standing position, however you can. You can turn it to your right and come to the top of our mat and let's step back into a warrior one position. The back edge of your back foot presses into the mat. Let's sweep our hands up above us, shoulders are rolled down our back. Engaging your core, pulling your baby in, breathing here. Let's open up to the front, moving into warrior two. You can widen your stance a little bit. Hips are facing towards the front now. Soft gaze out over your middle finger. You can take your left hand, bring it to your baby. Reaching up and over for Peaceful Warrior. Exhale using your obliques. Pull yourself up again. Let's straighten our front leg. We can bring our back leg in a little bit for Triangle or Trikonasana. Reach over your front foot. You can let your front hand drop in front of your leg, reaching up your top hand, strong legs, spreading your toes, slight tuck in your chin, core is engaged, pulling your baby into your spine, breathing into your side and back ribs so you can keep your core engaged. Good, exhale, coming up, let's switch to the other side, coming to the top of the mat, Stepping back with your right leg this time. We can sweep our hands up. Warrior one. Exhale, let's open up to warrior two, bringing your back foot back slightly. Back foot is perpendicular to your front foot. Shoulders are rolled down the back. Front knee is pressing towards the back of the room. You can take your right hand now, hold on to your baby, reaching up and over. Beautiful, exhale, coming up. Let's straighten our front leg, bring our back foot in a little bit. You can turn it in a little bit more, moving into Trikonasana. Stacking your shoulders on top of your front leg as if you were between two glass walls. Good. Exhale, come up. We're going to get down on the ground into a modified side plank now. So you can come down to your knees. Leaning gently to one side. We're gonna line up our elbow, hips, and knees. And then you can straighten your top leg. Let's roll our shoulders down our back as if we're trying to tuck our shoulder blades into our back pockets of our pants. Pressing your forearm into the ground, feeling lifted through the side. We can take our top hand up tucking our chin, looking it up. Let's breathe here. Pulling your baby in tight to your spine. Good. 
good. Now let's take our top foot. We can grab our ankle or our foot with our top hand, stretching through our quad here. If you wanted to release down to the ground, you can. Let's release our foot, coming all the way down. You can either roll over to the other side or you can come through seated to move over this way. Lining up your elbows, your knees, and your hips. Pressing into our modified plank, rolling our shoulders down. Top hand goes up. Finding our breath, pulling your baby in. One more breath here. Good. We can reach for our top foot, stretching through your quad. Beautiful. Release all the way down. Good. Let's come to a wide-legged forward fold. Just bringing your feet however far apart is comfortable. Flexing your feet. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a boost. You can also sit on a pillow here if it's more comfortable. And we can stretch up and over to the side. Big breath into your side ribs. Beautiful, let's switch to the other side. Exhale, come on up. Let's bring our feet together for Baddha Konasana or butterfly, letting our knees flop out, our feet open like a book. Slight tuck in your chin to find length in your spine as if a string is pulling up on the top of your head. You can stay here, or if it feels good, you can hinge at your hips, leaning forward. Shoulders are relaxed, face is relaxed. Letting go of any tension in your hips. inhale come on up and we can move into shavasana or our resting pose if you wanted to grab a pillow for under your head and between your knees you can you can also cover yourself up with a blanket easing yourself down on your side finding a comfortable position you can place your hand on your belly feel your baby letting your eyes close Again, our whole body, starting at the tip of our head, relaxing your face, your neck, your shoulders and your arms, your hands and your fingers, your belly, your pelvic floor. your legs and your feet, gently watching your breath, you're completely relaxed. Feel free to stay here, or you can finish up with me, circling your fingers and feet stretching out in opposite direction, and pressing up to a seated position. I will read the yoga card for the day. I let go of things I cannot control. 
I try my best and that is all anyone can ask. I am the perfect mother for my baby. Namaste to you. Namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me today. You did amazing. I hope that you're feeling great and that you have a wonderful day ahead. Of course, I will keep making pregnancy, yoga, Pilates, and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please give it a thumbs up. And to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will link to my whole prenatal playlist in the cards if you're on your mobile phone. And in the description box, I have over 100 different yoga, Pilates, and workouts you can choose from. I will also link to my free resources in the description box below. I have a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, as well as a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian. 